Yo, yo, what's good? Quinn Wolferman here. Um, out here at Bear Mountain, super stoked. We're doing the five questions with Evan Heath, so check it out. Kim Jong-il asked, what did you think of real, real ski videos and who won? What were your favorites, least favorites? I thought all the real ski videos were absolutely unreal. I've watched all of them uh, quite a few times. Really, really stoked on all of them. I thought it was really ill that Magnus won as well. His trick choice and everything was just super insane. And then I definitely don't have a least favorite. Uh, favorites definitely, um, I really liked watching Tom's this year. I thought his trick choice and feature choice was super on point compared to past years just in the sense that he was doing something creative and I think that Tom's really done it all. So it was kind of nice to see him change it up a little bit and try something new. That was super fresh. Wills was super crazy. Yeah, I really enjoyed them all. LJ, shout out to him. The dude's a maniac. That was insane to watch. So yeah, the ball were really, really impressive. Kai, everybody, it was sick. Fetchmar asks, Joining the Armada team recently, being able to compete in due tour this year with Henrik and having T Hall there to be the hype man slash coach of sorts, what does it mean to have such support from these legends around you? Yeah, looking back on that, that was like probably to date, like some of my most fond ski memories for sure. Um, my parents were able to come out for due tour. It was really sick. I hadn't really skied much before then, and so to just go out there and like lay down a run that I was personally stoked on was super fun. Powder awards were there and so Sammy came through and like I've always really looked up to him and so like it was super ill to meet Sammy. Yeah, Tanner, Cali P rolling through. Uh, that was so ill, like really first time meeting Tanner. Early inspiration for sure. So to have him like hyping me up at the top, following me with the GoPro, like riding up the sled with them. We were just yelling, having like the best time we could have at a contest. Like, and now I just kind of see what it's really like to be a part of the like Armada family, you know? To me, it means the world. That's really all I ever wanted in skiing was to be a part of Armada. And I mean, it made, might've came late in the game, but I couldn't be more happy to be sitting where I'm at with them. Uh, Otto asks, how was your super unknown experience? Um, it was super dope. I flew into Denver uh, two days early and linked up with my friend from Winter Park. I skied closing day at Winter Park, but uh, I had food poisoning for the first four days. Like, super miserable at night, like would try to hang out with the boys and then just would go back to the room and just puke and then fall asleep. But other than that, the skiing was like so dope, so sick. Really fun to watch all the different styles of skiing. Uh, Winter Park took care of us super well. Like we got to build features. Um, that was my first time ever like designing anything, hopping in the cat. Overall experience um, was so nice, so sick. Level one took really good care of us. And um, yeah, it was a week that I'll definitely never forget. That's for sure. Period dad money sign. Are there any tricks that you were really scared of trying but came surprisingly easy to you? Definitely remember my first right cork sev. I was just chilling in the hood and I was at the top of the jumps with some homies and I was like, I'm gonna try a right sev. And I did it and did it with stale and was like, wow, that was so much fun and so like ill feeling. And so that was like super surprising. Uh, maybe like a switch backflip back in the day. I super struggled with like dub tens, which is like kind of a bummer because it's like a basic contest trick, I guess. But, and then just the other day, like I was watching Kai Mahler do like carving triples and I was like, dude, I carve like all my four tricks. Like might as well just go try like a forward dub and, and actually try to carve it. And I did it and was like, oh my gosh, dude. Like I was super stoked. That was like a more recent one. Like it just came like felt natural, I guess, just trying to do it my own way. And so, yeah, I kind of thank Kai for that one to kind of 
opened my eyes and kind of let me realize that you may not be doing it exactly how it's supposed to be, but it works for me. And so, yeah, I'm really, that was a really fun one to kind of be like, oh, nice. Park underscore Ranger asks, do you plan on making a bigger splash on the comp scene in future seasons? It seems you've got the tricks to put a pretty saucy rundown. South. Yeah, I really want to do contests. They're fun to me. They're a way to push my skiing. They're a way to meet new people and get around and just make as many connections as possible. And I also kind of see like, there's definitely a good handful of people in contests um, that I really enjoy watching ski and then I respect all of them immensely, but it, I definitely think that if I could try to bring what I think is cool to the table and put that in the comp scene and see how that pays off, I would be so excited to do that. And then getting a taste of that scene at the Dew Tour was like so much fun. And I really enjoyed that and I'm definitely trying. I'm doing a little, little bit more contests than I usually do this year and starting to get some support from different people. So yeah, I plan on, on doing that park ranger. Thank <laughs> you.